I just feel like, you know, he can possibly keep the job, you know, especially with the team that's around him. You know, he has a lot of weapons, of course. We're having Debo, uh, Christian McCaffrey, and that defense was pretty much just like a top three defense right now with, you know, Bosa going crazy, uh, Fred Wagner going crazy, who I think you said was possibly going to be defensive player of the year this year. Yeah. Yeah, it's just pretty much that defense is just, you know, pretty much carrying them, I feel like, right now. So if he can, you know, play like how, uh, damn, the dude from uh, Dallas played before Dak came back. Yes, sir. Uh, If he can uh, maintain. Oh, no, you're talking about Cooper Rush. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If he can play like that and then just pretty much maintain the game, I mean, I feel like, you know, he can possibly take, I won't say take them deep, but he can still have them at least finish the regular season out with, you know, with a good good winning percentage, I should say. What about you, John? (sighs) Baker Mayfield is not going to the 49ers. I'm just going to put it out there right now. (laughs) He's not going to the 49ers. This is a team who, like, they want to see what they got in Brock Purdy. um, And then also – and then also, um, they have enough of a, you know, they're not just going to collapse. This team isn't going to collapse because Purdy's under center. Because here's the thing. All they need Purdy to do is just the bare minimum. Just play game manager. Like, if it was on him to go out and throw 30 balls a game, yeah, they're in trouble. But Garoppolo was only, I know he had 16 touchdowns, four interceptions. Those are game manager numbers. Those are not take the roof off numbers, right? So, he just they just need him to do – I'm not saying he's as going to do it as well as Garoppolo, but just do what Garoppolo did, maybe a, a less level, a lesser level. But, like, listen, Christian McCaffrey is, fi- is, is definitely coming into his own. He's definitely found a niche with this team. You know, and so just use what you have that already is successful. Stick with that. Let Purdy just play QB. Just I, I you think – You got to go I, find – I think they would be more comfortable because Brock Purdy is getting the experience now. So, yeah. you know, come January, you know the offense. Just don't throw the game away. You know. Get and you can win that way. You really you can win a Super Bowl that way. It's not gonna be easy. It's a long shot, but you know, this is this is a good this is the team that is good enough in all assets of the game to win with any with any quarterback. I'm not saying any quarterback can win. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, if there was a team that could do it, this is the team. Um, yeah, yeah, they would definitely so, have to pull – well, my father, John. No, I just – yeah, pretty much that that's it. Like, really, it's just – you know, so I, I – is Brock Purdy that guy? We'll find out in the next two games. But if not, yeah, you definitely got to make a move. It's not Baker Mayfield, though. Yeah, I think uh, getting Baker, it would it would, it would would be tough. Um, and when I say be tough, it would be tough for him to – learn an offense and be able to, you know, be a quarterback pretty much by the end of this month. Because by the end of this month, you're getting ready for the playoffs. And do you really want to bring someone in that is not playing to the best of their ability? You know, I think with Brock Purdy, you know, being in that system during training camp, OTAs, things like that, he's more equipped going forward. Because, you know, he knows the system. He knows the calls. He probably can't make, you know, judgment calls at the line and stuff like that. But like I was saying earlier, just get it to your – just get it to the town. Hand it off to Christian. Throw it to Kittle. Get it to Iuk. Get it to Debo and just get out the way. You know, now I ain't going to say, you know, because I think eventually with most game managers – they're going to put you in a position where you have to make at least a throw. And that's what Jimmy Garoppolo was good at. He was able to make a throw until, you know, they played uh, the Rams in the championship game. And, you know, he had to make the throw, but that pressure was in his face. So I think, you know, as, as San Francisco, they're not panicking. It's just like, look, it's your time. You know, like the NFL, next man up. You know, that's that's why you, you know, do all this studying and game film and watching everybody else in front of you. So I'm going to share your time. You can perform. So it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, 
go about things with Brock Purdy going forward? Yeah, I mean, just you know, close close it out. I mean, Brock, we got to still remember he's still young, man. He's yeah. only twenty two. Yeah. He's still, and like you said, he still got to learn the game. He's still trying to learn the system. Mm-hmm. But like you said, he does have enough talent around him to where towards, like I said, he can just pretty much maintain the game, like Nico said, and just get out the way. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just don't, get them. Don't the force nothing. Don't, if, you, got, if it ain't there, okay. throw this shit out of bounds. Oh, just get it out of there. I mean, because like I said, he came in and threw what two hundred and seventy six yards and two touchdowns. I mean, yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. If you can come in and do that every game, you ain't even, honestly. He won't even have to throw two hundred. In my opinion, he doesn't even have to throw two hundred seventy six yards. He could probably throw maybe between one fifty and two hundred with with the touchdown, maybe two and, and no interceptions. I'll be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? And just let, like you said, that talent and that defense control the game. So mm-hmm. like I said, like 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 we didn't, you know, I was saying just maintain, don't force anything, just let the rest of the talent do what they need to do to get you guys to the promised land. Go ahead, John. I, I do think this guy is gonna win them some games. I, I think most games he should rely on his the talent of his team to get it done. But I do think he is going to go out. I I, I watched his highlights. You know, I, that doesn't tell the whole story. You need to watch the whole game to know the whole story. But I watched his highlights and I saw some throws that I really liked that yeah. I was like, wow, I wish Russell Wilson made that throw. Like, cause like it just, it's just finding the open receiver. And that's what this guy's doing. And that's what a lot of quarterbacks are trying too much. And it's like, just find the open guy. And that's what, that's why this guy was successful last week. And, and real quick to Walt's point earlier about Brady, where, you know, he's going through the marriage and all that stuff and how it affects your game and all that stuff. Like, that's my reason for not wanting Baker is you read this guy's tweets and his Instagram and everything. The dude's clearly in his feelings about the whole Cleveland situation. It's like, dude, you got to move past it. Like, Still? That's fair. Yeah, yeah I mean. He's still in his feelings about it? I've heard that he still feels some type of way about it, and especially now that he's, you know, <laughs> been released, you know. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like. like this, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Release a second. No, real, real quick, we'll let you take it from here. Like, real quick. Like, yeah. Now getting released second time, dude's definitely in his feelings. Like I, right. I just wouldn't bring that. I wouldn't bring him in right now. All right, so wait, Walt. Before you go, next yes, topic: Baker Mayfield. They say mutually, they agreed. I guess together to part ways from the Carolina Panthers. What is your take on your quarterback leaving Carolina? Now that you keep saying my quarterback, bro, like <laughs> <laughs> your favorite quarterback. Right. You now told it's... him. He would be there for the long term, knowing you was looking elsewhere. Look, Pat. look, we appreciate everything Baker did. He was our first quarterback to get us a playoff win. I will never forget that. But it was just, as you can see, we ha- have seen deep inside of that, you know, I guess that one hit year wonder, if you want to call it, I should say, maybe two, because, you know, if you want to call his rookie season, that was, he broke the rookie uh, touchdown record. So that was a good year. But then, like I said, I would say his best year is when, you know, like I said, he got us, got us our playoff win against, you know, of course our rivals. So, I mean, just honestly, I just feel like Baker is just, he, he had all career lows this year. Um, It was just, you know, not a good sight to see. He had 50, 57, you know, a uh, completion percentage, and he was only throwing 187 yards, and he had six touchdowns and six <laughs> interceptions. So, I mean, I just feel like Baker need to take this time to, you know, maybe take a vacation, clear his head, get, you know, like John was saying, get out his feelings about the Cleveland thing, and then I'm sure he's going to be feeling some type of way about what just happened with the Carolina Panthers. So, I mean, I just really feel like he needs to just get away with his wife. They need to just, you know, take a vacation, let him clear his head, and just focus and just get in the gym, just just get in the gym, uh, watch a lot of film, and just try to become a better quarterback, man. Because just right now, for you to get replaced by an XFL player, and this is no disrespect to uh, PJ Walker, but I mean, this is the NFL, and that's the XFL. You feel me? So you to get replaced by an XFL player, bro, I just feel like that's a bad look, especially you being the number one draft pick. So I just feel like he just need to take some time and just, you know, get his head right and just become a better quarterback. Because just right now, it's just clearly you not in the right stage of mind, and everybody sees it, you know, and, and it's shown. So 
that's that, that's all I can really say about you know Mr. Mr. Mayfield, you know, and I and I, I pray for the best and hope for the best for him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you why this was mutual. Uh, they they <laughs> no, both well, get to they both get to come together. Screw the Browns because if the, if this man played too many snaps, the Browns' conventional pick becomes a fourth round pick, and now by walking out that door, it becomes a fifth round pick. So it was another screw you to the Browns. Is what this was. I mean, I guess if you want to go that deep into it, then yeah. But yeah. But to, that, to, that point, to that point, um, I don't see him starting for not another team, unless I can't even really give you a good scenario to where he could start. But you know, it's just one of them things, man. I think he was a product of his environment in Cleveland. You know, I think he did all right. You know, like, you know, when Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt could run the ball, yes, they all look productive. But, you know, back to your point about that Steelers game, didn't they force like four turnovers in that game? It was a lot of turnovers that game on both sides. short field. So, you know, if you got 35 yards in a, and then the end zone, if you ain't scoring touchdowns with 35 yards left, that's a problem. So, you know, it was – I think that was really his shining moment. And he had some games to where he could have stepped up, but he just didn't. And then, you know, everybody was saying this is his second chance going to Carolina and stuff. But I'm like, what's in Carolina? What's in Carolina? You know, what, you know, I he ain't uh, he ain't about to turn him around and take him to the playoffs. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, they were trying to make so, it seem. He was about to pull like an Aaron Rodgers or something. You know right, like he the savior of Carolina. Like, come on, bro. So he ain't like that? he ain't built like that, and neither is Carolina. Can I say mm-hmm. the NFL did y'all a favor with one of the worst calls in NFL history by by that head head to head helmet to helmet on on uh, on y'all's player to keep y'all out of the Super Bowl? I won't necessarily say he did us a favor if, because we don't, we don't know if, how. We don't know how deep we could have went if that call would have been reversed. You feel me? Or we well, I mean, you went to the Super Bowl and you would have given the Buccaneers a run for their money because they did. They could not stop that rush uh, that year. They did not as well as you know they could stop Kansas City and injured Mahomes. So I mean, if Baker, I agree it, that Super Bowl. Maybe you get a Super Bowl out of that, but I'm just saying at the opposite side. Let's say you don't win a Super Bowl and you go to the Super Bowl with Baker. It's really hard to get rid of. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, no, it, well, to that point, no, it's not. That's true. I mean, the Ravens, you're off. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say the Ravens like going Trent Dilfer after winning. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Foles, Jared Goff. Yeah, there, there's a lot of guys. I, <laughs> like, you know how bad you got to be for to be like, after, hey, yeah. we still not bringing you back. That's Go true. Back you're, right, you're right. You're right. right. So, so the NFL still screwed the Browns. You get a ring. That's about it. Don't. No, this ain't that, bro. Little parade. But I mean, like, like I said, at the end of the day, like I, I hope Baker for the best.